We're solving all your WordPress blues on WP Blab. Woo! 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 I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> You're hired. Thank you very much. It was totally recorded and done by our very own Bridget. Bridget, thank you so much for doing that. That was awesome. You're welcome. Jacob, you just joined us and you missed it so sorry you're gonna have to watch the replay and i'll put a link to the show notes for the, the soundcloud of the whole song how about that yeah well because yeah. i i yeah, only wanted that part song. of it, it but then cool. i was like oh that's just lazy just write the whole song <laughs> i'm my own worst critic <laughs> <laughs> oh man well I guess I should do the intro now. So I'm Jason Tucker. You could find me over at jasontucker.us. I also blog over at wpmedia.pro. I do a show on Mondays called WP Water Cooler. It's part of this whole network of shows that we do here. I have Bridget. Bridget is, uh, uh, she's amazing. Bridget, tell us a little oh, bit about yourself. Oh, I am the current, so amazing. Uh, jingle writer for WP Blab. <laughs> <laughs> and marketing manager at WordPress, who just released the recurring donations mm. add-on for Give, democratizing generosity. <laughs> Ooh, I can be found out. giving unsolicited social media advice at BridgetWillard.com. That's B-R-I-D-G-E-T-W-I-L-L-A-R-D.com. Dot com. <laughs> And we're joined by somebody who's been here Bye. every week now, practically. N well, not I true. Think he I've, one I've, yeah. Hey, how's it going? Russ, um, up, I dude? missed the first, I think, six weeks, and then I joined in one, and then I skipped a few and joined in on another. So I like to help out when I can, but I don't want to be a recurring figure on a show, you know what I mean? Well, let's get your Wi-Fi fixed, I, I, oh, That's cool, man. <laughs> we keep losing my Wi Fi solid. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you got a little bit you got a little bit of stuttering going fight? on over there. It's 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 fight kind of me. getting stuck. I just upgraded <laughs> my entire Wi Fi system like two day because of this. So you need it's a not me. <laughs> That's all I have to say. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm hard lined in. Yes, I am. I know what the blue cord is. It's killing me. It's killing me. Oh, it's hey, Jacob. Hey, driving mom. I love all our flab regulars in the peanut gallery. It's so fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so much fun. <laughs> hey, uh, so we, 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 uh, we, we started something new. And um, it's a little bit of the exact same, but a little bit new. So, like, you can go on our website now, and you can actually submit a question if you wanted to submit a question that way. I thought, you know what? Maybe people don't have Twitter. Maybe they don't know how to use Twitter. Maybe they don't know what a hashtag is. Maybe they haven't watched the Super Bowl yet where they totally introduce how to use hashtags and everything <laughs> throughout the entire thing. So... You know, I was thinking, well, maybe we should just have a form somebody could fill out on the site. At some point, we'll probably end up with an email. We'll maybe even allow you to fax, fax in you. your questions. And then we can teletype. So then <laughs> everything will just teletype in. <laughs> I can just look <laughs> at, you know, some, here's, here's one coming in now. Exactly. We, su <laughs> we support Morse code. So feel free to, to do all that, too, if you want to. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so you can go to the website. It's uh, wpwatercooler.com slash wpblab slash, I know more slashes, sorry, slash askwpblab. Go over there and check that out, and you can uh, do all it's, the things that it's way. Like, it's like a horror movie with all these slashes going on. Slash. <laughs> it's a slasher. So, uh, Russ, exactly. Russ wrote the exactly. I love WP hashtag in the show notes. So, uh I guess yeah. that's a whole thing. Like, talk, talk uh, about apparently, it. Uh, Matt Mullenweg at all <laughs> want to know how WordPress has changed their life. And my Matt said I should totally write a blog post of how a secretary became a marketing manager at a WordPress shop because of WordCamp. Yeah. Uh, so I tweeted some so, tweets, but they will really want you to write a blog post. And I just didn't have time to, like, I, I did that. I know, but you're better than me and awesomer. And uh, so i have like, what am I supposed to say? I My whole life sucked until I went to WordCamp. It's kind of a self-depreciating thing. But I do love WordPress. 
Look at me, crazy on a show about WordPress. It's crazy. So anyway, if you're inclined, no, no. contribute. They want you to be part of it. Well, so I found out about it today in yeah, the advanced so WordPress group, and so I I already last night you were in I something know, that right? was advanced. Me in oh, I know. I have no idea so, what anybody else is talking about. So. <laughs> So last night at the Vegas meetup, I wrote that article about WordPress and about how it gives me energy and blah, blah, blah. And then that came out today and I was like, well, I'm done. I already wrote it. Like, I'm That's cool. That's cool. I favored it so I can read it later. Thank you for the hit later. Poor Russ. <laughs> Maybe it's me. Is it me? Is it me? Yeah, Only Russ. Okay. No, okay. it totally isn't. I. I'm hearing the I, same thing. I think okay. he just needs a reboot. Uh, oh, the advertising plugin thing you mentioned before Christmas that allows ah. you to change the ads. Isn't that Ad Sandy oh, by Brandon yes. Dove and Hello, Uncle Tucker. Bridget. <laughs> Hi. Uh, Hello. Dry Ma, we'll, we'll definitely <sighs> answer your question right now. Let's see here. It says, what was the advertising plugin thing that you mentioned before Christmas that allowed you to change the ads across all the posts? Hmm, what was that that we were talking about? Because um, I use one called uh, Advanced Ads is one of them. Um, that one injects ads into the uh, into the blog post, and you can tell it how many, char how many characters into the post, how many paragraphs into the post, how many... There's all sorts of different things. You can tell it, like, you know, put it between, uh, you know, a, a span tag or a div tag or something like that. So you can go take a look at that one. Um, yeah, but you're right, Bridget. Um, Brennan Dove over at Pixel Jar, they made a, uh, they made a really nice, uh, really nice plugin that um, does ad management too. But I think it's more, it's more along the lines of if you're wanting to kind of run your own ads uh, or have somebody else be able to put ads in there. In their site, yeah, it's if I remember correctly, it's advanced ads. I'd, I'll have to look at it and, and see. Okay. Yeah, because it's hard to remember what we did before Christmas, a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, yeah, that one's called advanced ads, and I'll I'll, I'll put a I'll put a link in the uh, in the notes here. There you go. I'm burnt out, folks. I've been talking JavaScript with Zach Golden. Oh, yeah, fine. Are you taking his class? I might actually. Well, do you think I'm just too old now? I, I just feel haggard. No. <laughs> uh, any any language uh, language learning of any kind takes uh, frequency over time. So I would just take it in smaller bits, maybe, but do it more regularly. Oh, you're so nice, Bridget. You're such a nice lady. I, uh, I who would want to be on a show with somebody who is mean? <laughs> don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I'm English. Oh, you know what? I was about to say something. I like, I like Uncle Tucker as well. Uncle He's such Tucker. a nice guy. All right, Jonathan. Look, so you can you could totally learn COBOL script if you want to, and I put a link in in the notes. So if you want to learn COBOL script, go for it. There's probably a Fortran script in there somewhere. Maybe an no, auto script. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not into BTRity. It needs to be a game like that. Um, <laughs> I'm, a clean cut, I'm a clean cut WordPress person. I'm not into that type of thing. <laughs> Why 3K uh, bugs? Awesome. God. Oh, boy. Yeah. So you're, you're thinking yeah, about doing not? the JavaScript class, something. huh? And Zach's such a great guy. So he was, he's, he's the Zen master. Oh, yeah. Are you going to WordCamp Miami? Are no, I can't afford that. Uh, no, yeah. All my money goes into my... I, I, I've got this well that absorbs all my money. It kind of, it kind of sucks every penny I make into it. Yeah. Isn't that nice, isn't it? Isn't that uh, called entrepreneurship? Jeez. That does. <laughs> <laughs> This is why I'm an employee. I, I was under the impression he was talking about an ex-wife. Very wise. Can you, I thought he was talking about an ex-wife or something. I didn't realize your you were job. talking about your uh, about your business. You're <laughs> your running. life goal. How, how about now? How about now? Am I still freezing? Yay, no. Russ is back. Russ, back. it's still oh, screen. 
for, just for the record, stuttering. Jacob was asking where the JavaScript class is, and I found Zach Gordon's tweet. This is why it's good that I hang out on Twitter for like two hours a day. This um, is, this yeah, is definitely... I know that WordCamp Miami has a learning deeply track this year. So WordPress organizers, heads up. Miami's going to do it first. And um, so there you go. So, so I can't give too much away, but uh, last year at WordCamp Vegas, we did uh, the open discussion, which was a phenomenal yeah. hit. I just want to say. I heard say. about it. Um, so, so this year, we actually, last night, uh, we got some organizers together, and we came up with an even brilliant idea. Even more brilliant. That okay, that's that's exciting. Yeah, like it, when it's when do we get to it, know it, when it, word camps are approved? I know we, you can go to word camp central and stuff, but why does it take so long for yeah. people? To, like we're just like I'm helping them with the calendar on what word camps we're gonna go to. So I was just wondering, like, why does it take so yeah. long to find out when LA's word camp is? Why is it so hard? Well, so 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 here's how it works: is is they don't want like. I applied the day after WordCamp because I wanted to get the ball rolling because I'm, I'm the same way you are. Um, but what came, what it comes down to is, is there's only like six or seven people that play in WordCamps at the foundation. Oh, okay. And so, and so they have a set thing like, okay, we're going to work on Austin, London, uh, Sydney, and then, you know, Vegas, we'll start with Vegas in like June and you have from June till whenever your date uh -huh. is, you know, whatever oh, okay. like that is. So that's yeah, a small group of that, people. That's why, for like, a, such a worldwide. It runs really well, though, because I mean, like, so what happens with the WordCamp is when you apply, they say, "Great, here, you know, like, you have to set a budget. That's the hardest part. After your budget, they pair you up with a mentor. So my mentor was Jeffrey oh, nice. Zinn, um, who's who's uh, from Orange who's, County. Yeah, shouldn't have learned from that so, guy. So he's. <laughs> No, no, he's phenomenal. But so basically, most of your questions go to them because you know they can suss out the easy stuff or whatever. And if you know, if you have if you yeah. have anything hard, then you just say, "Let's go ask Andrea or the team, Cami Chaos, whatever." But for the most part, I mean, they just they're kind of on the back burner. They just approve and pay things oh. out, you know. Oh. Yeah, but th there is a little, I mean, there, there's a little government to it, you know, mm -hmm. there's a whole hierarchy like sure. the templates have, but, you know, eventually we'll get to it. Yeah. I just want to say that Vegas, Vegas is so already we, knocked out. I already have like 80% of mm -hmm. everything done because we're awesome like that. I just, I'm working on themes and stuff like that. Oh, fun. Yeah. Nice. If you're if you're real crazy, or if you use uh, Google, uh, like a like uh, use Google Calendar, or on your iPhone or whatever, you scroll scroll down the very bottom of the link that I just posted in there, which is uh, central.wordcamp.org/schedule. If you go down to the very bottom, there's some links there. Uh, one of them is a um, ICS or ICS um, calendar. So if you wanted to just take that and subscribe to it in oh, Google Calendar or something, um, you'll be able to look and see all of the events that are happening. Uh, in there just that's by smarter than checking every three days good job jason tucker exactly and, a, and, a auto, and a auto updates oh my god yep so you know next to all of the random uh uh you know ex-girlfriends on facebook if you subscribe to the uh, the, fa the the facebook uh mm -hmm. birthday calendar you can also find out all of the word camps that you're not going to like the one in mumbai or the one that's in yeah, prague that which i would love to go to well, Norway closer to us is San Diego, and they're still accepting sponsors and volunteers. Wow. So, so yes. here's, what's, here's what's funny about that is somebody tweeted, and they're like, you have a day left to submit your thing to San Diego. And I was like, where have I been for the last two months, apparently? <laughs> like, I'm always the last guy in. And I think that kind of affects my chances, to be honest with you. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not part of that. I just do the social media. <laughs> I, I'm not trying to pull strings or anything right now. I'm just saying, like, like I usually find out, like, oh, hey, Phoenix has already done accepting speakers. And I'm like, I didn't even get a chance to apply. Oh. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Well, you got, got your calendar now, haven't you? You got, no, you got no excuses. I do. Uncle Tucker sorted. Uncle Tucker sorted exactly. you out. Well, either way, it'll be good. I'm sure. I tried. I don't know. 
I don't know if you said sorted or salted, yeah. but either it's, way, it's it's right. I would eat salted, salted. <laughs> Who cares? Late at night, I've got a bad eye. I don't know, I'm breaking. Oh, my man. Eye. Uh, it's all that JavaScript mm. talking. Well, we're, we're not trying to keep you up, uh, you know, oh, past yeah. your bedtime or anything crazy like that. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh he's, he's puffing away. God, he's vaporizing. All right. So, um, Jason Tucker, I, I you wish, got the um, I, word. I, you get. You made a form so people can submit questions. You were being serious. Yeah, I sure did. And we got no. Qu- yeah. I did, and we got no questions. So thank you all for that watch. I appreciate the the time and effort that you took in submitting questions, both to Twitter, which it automatically goes into this uh, thing, as well as on. Um, yeah, you know, I don't know. We we may want to rework this business that, model. Well, a the bit question here, and answer model so, um, <laughs> in a live show depends on having questions. I have a question. So, I have a question. Exactly. So if you take over a maintenance, ah, you have a question. If you take we may have an answer. Contract, right? So now you're you uh-huh. got a client. And they sign a maintenance contract, and plugins licenses expire. <sighs> what do you do? Yeah. Do you take you on the responsibility <laughs> of paying for you, those you licenses or do you go back no. to the client? Well, so if, if if I built a site and I used my license and it expired, you tell the client, hey, it's probably a better idea that you pay for it. That way you're not dependent on somebody else, first of all. But I mean, they the client should really be paying for it unless it specifically dictates in your contract that Bridget Willard Incorporation will pay for the plugins or whatever. Like that, but that's that? a bad I no, that's yeah. a bad idea. Just because like if you're responsible for responsible for that, somebody says, Hey, you know, my site was hacked from a plugin that you're doing whatever, you could be liable for that. So make them go pay for it. It it it's not a bad thing, but make them pay for yeah. it because at least it's in their name, you know. Yeah, and the people you don't that want to want to lease the plugin probably know who their customers are that way. You, you don't want to lease plugins like, like you lease a car. That's a bad idea, you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I guess the only time I would, I guess the only time I would do this if I was the person that was setting up the site and the. It, and I I picked a particular theme or picked a particular plugin or something, and it was one of those things where I bought like the agency package for it, yeah. which means that I can use it as on as many sites as I want without having to worry about anything. Um, and and it was it was like a one time charge. There was no renewals. It was just a one time charge, and that was it. I would totally do with it. I would totally do that. Now, if it was something where I needed to renew it, I probably would think different, and I and even if they did an agency model, because I don't always use the same stuff. And at some point I'll probably, I'm probably going to evolve a little bit in my, you know, in my abilities and the ways that I go about things and the different pieces of software that I use. So I wouldn't want to be like, Oh, well, I'm just going to buy Genesis and I'm only going to use Genesis. And then I end up, you know, making a full left-hand turn and going, "Ah, I don't use Genesis anymore. And now I, now I'm on the hook for having to pay for this. Yeah you know, in perpetuity. And I don't want to do that. I just want to be able to, you know, take care of it once. So I'm with Russ in that I would just tell them, you know what? L- let me ask I'm you this, Jason. So, so, yeah. so Jason, you run all the WordPress stuff for the church. Is everything, yep. is everything for the church in your name or is it underneath the owner? Cause that's a very particular thing too. Like everything with the mortgage company I work for is in his name because I could be let go tomorrow and I don't want to have my name associated with everything there. Not that I don't love the guy, but it's his website. Essentially I built it, but it's his site. What do you do, Jason? Yeah, yeah I do exactly that. You know, same with, uh, same with any code that I write while I'm there, I'm writing code for them and it's their code. Uh, I, I'm at work and I'm, I'm writing code for them. So anything that I'm building there, that's, that's of theirs that you know the purpose and the intent was to write it for them they own the code so at that point you know it's it, it, so yeah I, I all of those plugins all the themes all the stuff that we use for all the different sites the various nonprofits and the various things that we have running through the through that organization they own all of it and yeah. we only just buy a single license or we run multi-site so we well, if i have to buy like 
multiple you know copies of it yeah, or something my, posi then, then my position is slightly well, different um if it's um he pays for uh, everybody's no, it's just like, <laughs> He bit. He just bit towards um, all of it. If if it's a plugin that's actively helping us maintain the site, that helps us with the actual speed of of dealing with the client, we will pay for it. We have a core group of plug, a very small core that actively help us. Sure. Um, one the other ones, if a client asks. I have got a number of developer licenses and I will say to a client, we'll try this under my developer's license and you can see if you like it and you if it's the solution that you want. And then um, after a period of time and they're happy with it, then they go and buy their own license. Well, so the... The, yeah. the safety that John is talking about, though, is it's phonetically easy to go into Gravity Forms and generate a new license code, and now that license key doesn't work on, you know, whoever's client side or whatever. So you do have a little bit of safety in it. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, that's how it normally works for me. There are, you know, a small group of um, plugins that I put on all sites that I'm managing or we're managing. Um, but generally, I agree with both of you. The, the the best thing is for the client to have their own licensing. It, it but you know it just depends. Sometimes that doesn't apply, so it's a bit swings and roundabouts. Well, when you're running support, yeah, like I back up all my clients to my own individual S3 Amazon account. So yeah, that plugin has my developer license stuff like that. But as far as it comes to like Gravity Forms or like Yoast Pro, that's on the client. That's them. The the stuff that I run, sure, I'm responsible for. But again, they stop paying us. They let go of the contract, whatever. It's phonetically easy to get rid of that developer license. That's a good question. Yeah, yeah. And, and I mean, that's why I think so. Yeah, I think it's a great question. <laughs> I'm. I'm kind of, yeah, you know what, Jonathan, I did the exact same type of thing when I was running my own, my own web development shop is that I would find the things that I like and I'd buy the, um, I'd buy the agency copy of it and I'd use it for myself and I'd use it all over the place from all my sites, but I would also end up using it for a customer site and get them going. But if I ever, if we ever like left, you know, parted ways or anything like that, Hey, look, just want to let you know, this is going to be expiring at some point here. You probably want to go and, uh, and, and upgrade it and pay for it yourself. But yeah, the agency, I mean, the agency licensing model is cool. Um, unless you're like good friends with the person that made the theme. And then you're like, I just want to pay you and like feed your right. kids. So like, why am I buying this one license from you? And that's it. You know, I'm going to use this thing for, you know, forever, especially when they don't expire. That's that, Those are the ones that always... It almost makes me want to make make them change their business model before I uh, before I buy it from them. Just well, <laughs> just to kind of save them and their kids from you know from going in the poorhouse because everybody just buys it and never. Well, so it. the 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 equivalent to this though is when it comes to like software for your business, especially like email. You want that to be in your client's name for whatever reason, but the biggest reason is they're going to call into Microsoft because there's going to be a problem at two a.m. And Microsoft isn't going to help them because it's in my name and not in their name. It, it, you know what I mean? So keep it in their name just in case they need the help. And you can add yourself as a authorized representative or whatever, you know. It's the same way with plugins. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense. It's just um, I'm thinking about this. It's now, now an important thing to me. And uh, it's just curious because I know if you build out a site, and then you don't have maintenance. Just use what? Just use one of Cromwell's developer license. I'm sure he has a hundred of them. <laughs> I'm sure he's gonna love that. By the way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Kevin. Well, I I'm more thinking of it from the perspective of renewals uh, and recidivism. So that's a big right. word. Yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, give me a moment. I need to go look yeah, at my what, what the hell to say? Can you, can you, it sounds like illegal to me. <laughs> this, is, if this is water cooler. I'd have Steve look it up on Wikipedia. You know, you but... want people to. <laughs> okay, the can, idea can of building some, a piece song? of software is that when the license expires, you want the users to oh. renew their license. But if the users right, are no exactly. longer your customers, then how do you remind them to do it? I've this accidentally is... paid for stuff that auto renewed. And then I'm like, I got to go back to the developer and be like, you know, I actually don't use your stuff anymore. And uh, can you give me my money back? And they're like, no, or yes, or whatever. No, I think honestly, it's, honestly, there's a kind of middle, you know, if it's a plugin that's only going to be used really for that client, it is, you know, it is really their responsibility to buy the license and hold it. But there's a group of plugins that, just makes it a lot easier for us so but we put them on and they've got the kind of licenses that make it easy for us to deactivate them if the client decides they're not no longer going to use our services but on the other hand we give them a list and we make it totally clear that is the situation yeah. these are the costs do you want us doing that if you don't want us to do that we won't do it we're always totally upfront what we're doing what we're not doing and it really just depends on the attitude. You know, some clients just don't want to know. They just want you to handle as much as possible, and they don't really want to know about that stuff. Yeah. Sure. Um, Kevin well, Hoffman was saying yeah. earlier that he says, I build plugin licenses into the cost of the site uh, with a clause that puts renewal fees on the client and it makes it a simpler pitch. Because yeah, you know, if the, but, if the but, client only right. cares that you have SEO optimized, they might not care that it's Yoast or all in one SEO or Uncle Tucker's SEO or whatever. <laughs> you know, they probably don't care but, how it they, happens. Yeah, is that true? Pretty valid. But I think the thing is, is if they're buying like if they're buying like well, Microsoft license. Going back to like Russ's Russ's yeah. analogy. If you're buying a Microsoft license and then after a while, you know, you look at your, you look at your, you know, you go to the about, the about page on the, the, you know, the application, you go like, wow, we bought this back in 2010. It's uh 2016 now. Maybe we should go upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> that you're not going to go back to the guy that you bought it yeah. from and say, hey, so, you know, I need a new version of it. And you're like, yeah, no problem. I can give you a new version of it. It costs this much. You know, I think that's, I think that's the thing is that, is that they're they're going to have to at some point here go sure. and and purchase this on them for themselves. Yeah. Well, but so the, the you know the, the the downside to that though is is I've had like I've installed Gravity Forms on a client site and then they went and inside of Gravity Forms you can download all the add-ons and so one of my clients had a single license and they started downloading all the add-ons and my card got charged because they weren't authorized to do that. So, you know, I had like $600 worth of add-on fees added. Even, you, you know, like, you got to be careful with that kind of stuff, you know. That's what I was getting at. Especially with yeah. Microsoft. You know, you say, hey, I'm going to help you with your five emails. They hire 20 people. Now you're on the hook for 20 emails at 50 gigs a piece at 12.50 a month. That's insane, you know. Yeah, you, you don't. You definitely don't want to yeah. go there. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely don't want to go there. No, that's not um, a good idea, is it? Can, can I? Okay. Yeah, so we can totally switch. Here, here's the thing, because um, you know, I'm I do plugin reviews for WordPress, and uh, one of our friends over here on the side, Driving Mall, asked if we use any editing or proofreading plugins, and I that's what I wanted to review. I wanted to review a proofreading plugin, and I thought for sure. Either Grammarly or Hemingway app yeah. had a WordPress plugin, and neither one of them does. Yeah, and okay. the, those are my two favorite tools. I love Hemingway app yeah. the best. Yeah. So oh, to you. I just end up um, going to Hemingway. Yeah, because it one of the great things about Hemingway app is it does make suggestions if you have too many adverbs, but more importantly, it counts the words and tells you your grade level. So if you did a 11th grade level post, that may be great. But yeah, but Aunt, Auntie Bridget, grade. Auntie Bridget, what's her adverb? <laughs> um, Jonathan uh, slowly interrupted Bridget while she was explaining to him. Slowly. <laughs> 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 
but but so gra- <laughs> grammarly grammarly is Chrome actually like a, or, uh, yeah it's a, it's Chrome extension, so it doesn't need to be a plug-in because it no, doesn't do that. No, but I thought now. that would be cool Jetpack. to have it in your dashboard. But it doesn't need to be. That's the cool but part. It, it defeats. The... Yeah, it doesn't need. You know, like for the people that are worried about too many plugins slow down their site, like that's another right. thing they don't need. Uh, Jetpack has uh, a grammar check and gra- uh, a spell check, something like that. You can yeah. start there. That's always a good place to Especially learn. Your um, I, I'm a grammarly fan. But but even Yoast SEO, Yoast SEO will say like your Weiss score is eighty seven point seven, which means that it's really easy right. to read stuff like that. I mean, you can just start with those tools and start moving slowly. No, forward. that is a good point, Russ. And I saw that today when I was looking at Yoast's. Um, I finally was reading the red dots. <laughs> <laughs> those that those actually mean nothing, by the but way. But I didn't know that they had that. Um, yeah, don't get. Score. Oh, he's right. Listen to Russ. Don't get obsessed with those red dots. No, but the readability well, score no, no, is no, important no. because because if people don't yeah. understand what you're saying, they're gonna bounce. It's too much to read no, on no, the no, internet. No, no, no. Yeah. If you don't make any the, sense, the first two the, paragraphs, the, the, I'm out. No. Yeah, but Auntie Bridget, they're Americans, so they're not gonna understand much, are they? <laughs> no, Fifth no. grade reading level, Jonathan. <laughs> Fifth grade is newspapers. So congratulations that your term paper is 11th grade, but nobody's going to read it. That's not what it's for. What it's saying is like, if you run, like, uh, one run-on sentence that goes on, you're going to read. That's what score does. It's yeah. reading you on your grammar. But also, mm-hmm. the grade level is important. Because, especially if it's content marketing. Now, if it's your deepest, darkest soul searching article about why you know <laughs> your recurring nightmare with the you know I, I write that you're at a fifth grade level your, um, <laughs> psychiatrist that your reoccurring nightmare you know then maybe it could be you know some well, really difficult to read war and peace situation you know but the truth is if it's content marketing it needs to grab you it needs to keep you, and it needs to have a hook, just like a good song. Because well, yeah, well, if you only have worst. thirty seconds, and then you either turn the radio station off or vote it down on Pandora, that's just how it is. What is your worst nightmare, Auntie Bridget? Having a bullshit English uh, guy on your on worst, your podcast. My worst nightmare <laughs> is is a structure fire, structural fire. Right. Yeah, I don't have candles. I don't have fireplaces. I it. <laughs> Mine's multi-site. I've got a I, really good. I've got a good confirm <laughs> that handles that. For okay, so, so got, that's what I've so got. So we for answered. It. Um, and, I, and I deal with multi-site every day, and it drives me crazy. Me. Jetpack has a thing. We we answered that. We're not. We don't have any cats. Uh, what color is the best? Uh, here you go. Which color is best for your WP plugin? Read Russ's blog on WordPress coming soon. Uh, he's reviewing WP, but you heard it here first, folks. Uh, here's another, here's one from Grant Derupas. What happened to Russ? Did I X him out? Did no, I, I think... hang up on Russ? I don't know what I'm doing. No, he's having, well, here's he's a question from problems. Grant. He's having computer problems while we're waiting. He has to go reroute the encryptions. Okay. Uh, let's see here. What about pricing models were key features you require are only Can available in the agency style? Um, pricing? Well, I, I think I think that's hmm. linked really, Grant, to what yeah, I said. Do. You know, our position is we if we got it, we 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 would in, initially install it just and see if that kind of functionality really um, met the requirements of the client, and then at some stage we would say, look. You really got to buy this yourself, um, and if they don't, um, we've never really got to that sticky point because if it's really, really useful and they're like most people are reasonable and can see it, they want to buy it. But if they're worried about a hundred dollar plugin or a thirty dollar plugin, then and that's, that's maybe like that's not going to work out anyway, right? you know. It's not going to work out that well anyway. 
if that's the holdup, that that the thirty dollar you know add on for Yoast or something for like video, like video, for, you know, something like that. I uh, forget that. Yeah, that's that's crazy. I mean, that that just means that they didn't look at the deliverables that you're going to be, uh, you know, providing at the end of you know, at the end of you building out the site. And you would have had to gone through all of that stuff anyhow. You would have said, here's the, all the different components that I'm going to be using for this project. Here's the things that you're required to take care of. Here's the things that I'm going to take care of during pricing. You're going to take care of buying the domain name. You're going to take care of paying for the web hosting. You kind of lay all that stuff out. And then if they look at it and go, whoa, this is going to cost more than I was thinking. And then you go, well, you know, to build a really sophisticated catalog, it does take a lot of this stuff. And, I mean, you know, th they're going to have to... <laughs> right. But if it's something where the, the, they're making money off that's of it, that's the one that always drives me crazy is. is when they're like, oh, now I have to pay for. I, I have. Are you telling me that to, for me to be able to sell stuff on my You're website, I have to pay a percentage to Stripe and then I have to pay for a plug in for this and I have to pay for, you know, to be able to, to ship stuff and it has to calculate ship. It's like, yeah. All these things cost money. You're going to have to use, you know, you're going to have to spend some money to make money. And you're also, you know, you're lucky that WooCommerce didn't cost anything. And all the stuff that lives on top of it did yeah. cost money. Could be worse. So they could have to get to buy all of these money. <laughs> well, if they don't want it, they could just go to WordPress.com. <laughs> That's I've true. Had, I've had, I've twice. I've re You know, Squarespace it totally uh, lets you sell stuff. one of these twice and never again. It almost destroyed me. God but you mind. survived? Did you get a T-shirt? Oh, I don't know. It was pretty oh. stressful, Bridget. It was not. Uh, I need uh, no, never do that again. Hey, uh, just to change topics again, because this is what I do when Jonathan talks. Now, <laughs> it's our thing. Oh, I saw we, that we, WordPress.com has a huge, humongous booth at Nam. Did you see that? Yeah, they sure did. My my guys, my guys from work went over to Nam to go check it out, and they were well, not to go check out the WordPress booth, but they walked by and they're like, "Hey, that WordPress thing you do is there." And I'm like, "Oh internet? yeah, yeah, the thing and that I saw powers that. like you know a third of the huge, internet." And yes, it said twenty five percent of the internet. Uh -huh. Like finally, these people are getting smart about marketing. Like, why are I thought it was great because the musicians are the ones that are leaving right, going to right. Wix, right? Oh, they? So that was good that they're at Nam. Nam is like yes. North American musician, something, blah blah blah. It's in Anaheim. Those, those, yeah, so that was good. That's poor people. Yeah, the, those yeah, but poor I thought that have... was super what, cool. What Maybe they're thoughts? stepping Jeez. it up. <laughs> what are your thoughts, the both of you, about the, you know the kind of the Wix, the Weebly's, the you know those type of solutions? I what's, never what's went your... to the dark side. I listened to Leo yeah. Laporte, and I started on WordPress.com. I went from HTML that I wrote in like Dreamweaver or something to right. WordPress.com because of Leo Laporte. Now he's always um, pimping Squarespace. Okay. Squarespace. Squarespace gives me money, so I'm going to talk about that. I don't even listen to him anymore. I probably should because I really like Leo Laporte. But um, everything great I learned was from Leo Laporte, Twitter and WordPress. So. Here I am. Uh, yeah, I just thought that was good that they're at NAM. Yep. Hey, maybe so it's I, a good turnaround just for everybody that has to yeah. overcome uh, the WordPress stigma. You know, it seems like there's a stigma, like you have a mental illness. Yeah. I mean, you know what? I would, I'd kick. <laughs> I'd kick five bucks in for them to do a um, to do a, a, a Super Bowl. They should ad. crowdfund. I know it. five bucks isn't going to get us anywhere, but but I, I would definitely. <laughs> they should. Not naming any names, but. Uh... <laughs> 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 Good job, job Bridget. Good job. I grew up watching oh television goodness. and product placement. <laughs> What can I say? <laughs> oh, don't use that cup. I need it for Thursdays. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Got your cup there. Oh, man. I, I, I'm I don't sorry. Know what you're I'm... talking about. <laughs> uh, hey, so I, I, wanted to, I wanted to answer a question that was asked a, a little while back here. Um, Brad was asking the question regarding, um, regarding kind of uh, educating himself and kind of bringing him up to speed. 
you know, he he says that he was a um, he was kind of a do it yourselfer right. and the type that wants to learn stuff himself. I I've always learned things by doing them on the job, and sometimes the job is me coming up with an idea and doing it. So I'm like, you know what? I wanna I wanna um, I wanna build a a WordPress uh, a WordPress podcasting network. I'm gonna figure out how to do you know, this, and I start building all these little pieces up or, you know, I want to do like, I used to do a Disney podcast. So I was like, I want to learn how to do a Disney podcast with this. So let me, let me start playing around with these, these few little things, or I want to learn how to, uh, and it's, it, I always look at it that way. It's, I want to learn how to do this. And it's never the technology that I'm using. It's the end result of the thing that I'm building. So I go and look at it and say, I want to build a gallery, a gallery thing where I just have a whole bunch of images and I want to be able to look at them all. And be able to flip through them just like they would be blog posts. So I'll build it. So the the what I, what I would suggest Brad do, and this is something I'm going to be doing pretty soon here too, is um, I want to learn how to use how to do e-commerce sites. And I've never done I've done one e-commerce site, and it was a long time ago, and it was OS Commerce, and it doesn't count. But I want to <laughs> I want to learn how to do you know how to do um, an e-commerce site, and I have a coworker. Who has an e-commerce site and I was like you know what I'll do the e-commerce site with you and I'm not charging him anything I'm not gonna get paid for anything but I want to learn how to do it so what I suggest is finding one of those little things and jumping in on it and run with it you know find that one little you know thing you want to build and go build it and build it with you know build it with somebody find somebody that wants to help you out and do it so for me and I was like build it and that's the way you're gonna learn. The approach of learning styles so if you can't listen to somebody go want 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 yeah. for an hour, uh, then you need a buddy like a private tutor. Mm -hmm. I I tutored algebra for ten years, and some sometimes you can't just do things on your own because it's just not your learning style or uh, or breaking right. things scares you. I don't know if there's like a desktop server for JavaScript. <laughs> You know, some kind of offline, I don't, I'm not going to break the internet way, <laughs> you know, where they're just going to try stuff. But I, I think that having a private tutor or a, a learning buddy, somebody like, you know, Roy Savans, your BFF, and you, he's going to come over, you're going to cook dinner, and he's going to show you how to do this crap. You, I mean, that helps. That works for a lot of people. What? That's how I taught my stepdaughter Twitter. She yeah. just came over. Uh, we sat at my computer and I, and I, she, she had her fingers on the keys and I said, this is what you do. And now you do your avatar. That was your four cover photos. And, and this is who you follow. And then this is what you, okay. So the next thing you do is this. And I was just more like a guided practice person, but some people need that kind of security of a person, a buddy, right. you know, like a gym buddy. So there's always some part of your life where you might need a gym buddy. Right. So it might be that. And um, maybe at your WordPress meetup, there's a JavaScript nerd who wants to hang out with you and eat pizza and drink, like, <clears throat> whatever, craft beer or whatever the, you know. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, that nerd it up. Uh -huh. So exactly. I, th I, th I think my problem was my Chromecast. I think my Chromecast. Oh, Chromecast. Yeah. Because you're loud and clear now. Is it still clicking? No, it, it was Jonathan Denwood just clicking, 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 I think is what it was. It was it was him giving us props. <laughs> oh, yeah. So that was good. I'm the prop boy. Um, here in Vegas, uh, we have like 9,000 different meetups. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. ev every day at the Innovation Center, there's at least three going on. Like, is there a JavaScript meetup? Yes, there's JavaScript, PHP, Ruby on Rails, the Joomla, Drupal, WordPress. I mean, you name it. It's there. Um, it, it was actually kind of hard for us to guarantee an entire year of meetups, but our our whole year is already planned out there, and wow. I'm I'm already petitioning for 2017 to get uh, to get the same date. Dang, you're organized. You make me look like I'm a slacker. Well, I I, I have nice. a a very close friend who runs the innovation center. I have a little bit of pull. Oh, you got an <laughs> in. I know somebody who knows somebody. <clears throat> Come on, Vegas mob reference, That's and I awesome. get no props for I, that. I, I, 
Oh, you no. guys are killing me, Larry. Come if, on. Wake up. Wake up. When you live in Vegas, the mob is the last thing you want to hear. <laughs> you know, it's, it's fun. Sorry, Brad. Did we answer your question? We were trying to be helpful, not mean. Just so you know. Okay. Just yes. I think we answered his question, but I think I think the thing he the thing the thing that he's going to have to work out, which is always the hard part, is um, you know trying to find that person to to learn with, and yeah. you know you want to find someone right. who's more of a mentor than somebody who's having the same problem and, as you. And because it's hard they're just to drag like, you open down yourself if, up if not, and be so. vulnerable. It's like songwriting; you almost need to uh, co-write songs with people you're married to. It's a, there's a lot of it's very hard to be creative live mm. in front of people i really prefer yep. my husband to not even be in the house when i'm doing stuff you know was, i'm sitting there like messing around my guitar like recording the blab song and he's like what are you doing i'm like nothing just get out of here i'm like i don't want you to hear it till it's totally finished and it's all mixed and i got four level you know i like four layers of voices and two or three harmonies and it's really good then i'll let you hear it but i don't want anybody around like when i'm creating but it's just but, too nerve wracking. But one thing to remember, though, is it's really hard for somebody who is like a developer all day, every day to jump back into that role and play teacher. You know, like I'm going through this now, like with the, with the Vegas WordPress meetup, we're jumping back to beginner level entry kind of stuff. And it's really hard for me to be like, oh, yeah, here's how the settings work, because. I knock out the settings in the first 30 seconds of installing WordPress and I don't touch them again, you know? Well, maybe it has to be your passion because there's people that are passionate <clears throat> teachers. It's like when you take somebody to Disneyland for the first time who's never been there, like I don't care if I ever go to Disneyland again. Maybe when they do Star Wars, like maybe when that's actually done, maybe I'll spend uh, $500 to walk in the door. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, but um, you know, I've been there. I've been there for Christmas. I've been there for holidays and birthdays and everything when the grandkids were little. I've done. I've done it. But when you go with somebody who's never been and you see their face light up when they see Sleeping Beauty's castle, there's nothing like that because yeah. that's – well, that's me because I'm, yeah, I'm a teacher by nature. So m my favorite thing is when somebody says – well, you really inspired me, and now I'm doing blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, that's it. I could die now. Do you work at so, Disneyland? So Can you, you get me in for free? If you guys that, are just joining us, welcome back to Disney Blab, <laughs> and uh, we're talking. <laughs> oh, man, I used to have passes I used to do one of these. This is perfect. $1,000. Wow. A thousand dollars? Are you kidding me? Oh, it used to be like yeah, the really here. good ones are two fifty, and I'd upgrade it. You know, it's like date night for a year. A thousand dollars? It's not happening. I don't like Mickey Mouse that much. Uh oh, there comes Roy. So yeah, I better stop crazy. talking about Disney Nine now. <laughs> Hi everybody. Would you like to hear our theme song again? <laughs> <laughs> oh look, there's Roy's avatar. <laughs> we love Disney. <laughs> Um, no, I did love Disneyland. I'm just saying, like you, but that everybody relates to that experience of when somebody's seeing something for the first time and you're there and you're helping that happen. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, so th when I first got into WordPress, I kind of I attached onto John Hawkins pretty hard um, in a non-prison movie kind of way. Let's be clear. <laughs> and uh, but. You know, like I went home and I did my research and, you know, when I, when I stumbled upon something, I was like, Hey, what does this mean? Like I wasn't asking him how to show me how to build custom post types. I was more asking specific questions instead of saying, lay it all out for me. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think there's a big difference between I need help right. from stage one versus I need help from stage 16. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Very no. good insight, Russ. And I like Kevin's um, throwing the. What are those called? It's not really an emoji. It's just a bunch of characters that make make it look like the oatmeal guy is flipping over a table. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not that much of a nerd, you guys. I just oh. barely know how to use Giphy. I watched oh, Star Wars. I haven't seen the new Star one yet. So don't say anything. I have not seen the new one yet. I saw James Bond though. 
That was a great James Bond. I will see Star Wars. I love Star Wars. You can't beat James Bond. Oh yeah, I love James Bond. I can't help it. Yeah. It's, it's the it's the paradox of Bridget, a feminist who loves a totally misogynistic movie. I'm not to tell you. Shaken but not stirred. Uh, Bond, James Bond. Statistically, you can be James Bond. It's called, you know, uh, Spider-Man, the highest grossing movie ever. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, like, you can be James Bond, but I understand where you're coming from. Yeah. I think Star Wars holds that record now, right? I will definitely be I seeing Star Wars. There's no doubt about it. I just haven't made it to the theater. I wanted to see it Christmas, but it was sold out. Then I got really sick. And then my dog had to spend a bunch of you my can't money. Pick so. the most, you can't pick the most popular day if you haven't bought tickets in like <laughs> 10 months before. <laughs> I learned things the hard way, Russ. <laughs> unless, oh. unless you're Roy and he's like, yeah, we have a private screen. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I definitely want to see Star Wars. I'm just saying I'm not a science fiction <laughs> fan per se. I liked Gravity with Sandra Bullock. That's and fair. Star Wars. That's fair. The That's only thing that the, <laughs> the only the only thing that those two things have in common is the fact that they're in space. <laughs> oh no, I like that one. Uh, I liked um, Tron, and I liked the uh, that Disney one where the guy had the things that went around Maximilian. What was that called? The black hole or something from the eighties? Oh, you guys are too young. Shoot. Never mind. Can we have another WordPress question? So I can get out of this sci-fi. No, <laughs> Let's go out to the Tetris well, and go I'm back anything. in time to get myself out of the sci-fi hole. <laughs> so I have I have one. Um, have you guys used any um, any comment plugins that are not the ones that are hosted oh. elsewhere, like or like discuss or or discus if you if you pronounce it incorrectly or any of those other things have you used any pl any commenting plugins that just kind of help out your comments make them work better make them stronger uh, no because cooler, i heard smarter. that you had to Nothing? if it's you like i heard that if it's on discuss mm -hmm. it's not being read as part of your page it doesn't count for seo you had to so you. i keep all my comments on wordpress right so that's so that's what I said though is right, but what I'm saying is ones that optimize. Well, you had to make, make those. You had him on your, you you had him on your WP Kula. Uh, He's based in Reno, the Reno Collective. You had his partner on um, mm -hmm. um, last year, but I can't remember the name of the Kevin plugin. Epoch. Postmatic, Devin saying Postmatic. Yeah, I think it's Postmatic. Jacob yeah, saying Facebook. Yeah, but Facebook's yeah, going to be post Facebook. Yeah. But it's Postmatic, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've um, I've used Postmatic and I used um, Epoch. I used both of those and tried those out a little bit. The one I the one that I've um, I started using on one of my sites is uh, mm -hmm. is this one right here called DE I'll Comments. And what's cool about DE comments is that it, um, for one, it works on multi-site. So if you have a multi-site, that's awesome. But it also does a single sign-on with, oh, um, yeah. with social media sites. So if you need to, um, if you need people to be able to log in or whatever, they can use that, which normally you can't do that with, with a WordPress site. Well, as um, a unless commenter. you install a whole bunch of plugins, but, um, DE comments is a pretty, is a pretty cool one. Cause you can do, um, thumbs up and you can do stars and you can rate people and down rate them and sort by, you know, newest. And, and oldest, is that for the low, low price of else. a cup of coffee a Kinda day cool. or what? Not free. <laughs> so, um, for, for one site for it's 50 bucks for three sites, it's a hundred bucks. And that includes um, per year with um, with support I, as well I, as updates uh, for, what, I for that one year. I comment on blogs. I'm a commenter, so I like Discuss as a commenter because yeah. it's easy. I have a Discuss account. I can get you know people. Right. It's easy for me to get you know keep track of people that respond to me or vote me up or blah 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 blah, and it's easy to recommend things. And I like that how easy it is to use. And I was just about to install it till i watch this show 
Yeah, but but I don't I, need I, any more handicapping <laughs> SEO wise. I already have my headlines. And that's what this that's what this doesn't do though. Yeah. This this actually uses what's built into WordPress to display the stuff, which is what I really wanted because kind of kind of what we were trying to do is gamify uh, trying to gamify uh, comments a little bit. So making it so that people would Interact. want to like each other's comments and maybe if they commented more than oh. 50 times that they would get a little special badge and the people want to work up to getting a badge. We wanted to make it so that uh, so that people were able to um, build a, like upload images if they wanted to. So it's like all the stuff that discusses without being having discussed. Where is that being used live, Jason Tucker? Installed. Any place you know? you're willing to divulge? It's not WP Media um, Pro. Yeah. So there's this there's this website called. Oh really? <laughs> there's this website called <laughs> WP Water. I just go look and see. There's pictures there, of me. I don't know what's coming. Well. I, I think one of the reasons why a lot of people started moving to like discuss and stuff was because Ajax wasn't a big thing involved inside WordPress. And so it had to create a page reload and stuff like that. And now that, you know, we have the the rest API out and Ajax is a huge thing. I think we're, we're going to see more comment plugins that are not third party based. Um, that's why I, I don't use a lot. I use the core features yeah. in WordPress. It works for me. I don't have 10,000 million people commenting. I have like six, two of which are my mom. <laughs> like like my mom will comment. And then my mom she, on she, she won't edit comments. She will just add another one and say, sorry, I meant to say this. <laughs> yeah. You know? That's my mom on YouTube. <laughs> So here, here's a cool thing. Here's a cool thing about this DE comments is you can actually set a time sure. limit on how long they're allowed to edit that comment. So if they if they wanted to, you know, write the comment and hit post, then they'll they'll sit there for a second and they're like, oh, I totally misspelled that, or oh, oh I shouldn't cool. have said this, or whatever. They can go in and edit it, and you can set it up to as long as you want. It looks so it's it's a I don't know. I really like it. I think it's a pretty it's a pretty neat um, interface. The back end's um, pretty cool because you're able oh. to. It do looks a lot like of it stuff works with, like, on and subscriptions um, and, the comments and that got pulled in from the show like notes on Blab too. That's cool. Clearly, sure I need to make an yep. account so I have an avatar. Though that is not yep. cool. I do not like not having an avatar. It looks like I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I, I think oh. I probably didn't turn on Gravatars. And so if you if you comment using one of the email addresses like with your Gravatar, it'll just use that. Let's see here. Is the website field on WP Water Cooler's comments meant to look like that? Have, have hmm. you let's have, see what that person have, is. Have you tried restarting? There. Oh yeah, it wraps. <laughs> <laughs> turn it off and on again. Uh great. So, so Grant, that's a that's a CSS issue. I'll I'll get that I'll get that squared away. <laughs> okay, so that we answered that question. Good stuff. So yeah, oh, look. yeah. There's another optimization yeah, take a look at question. That. If you, oh, Jacob said, oh. how do comments help with SEO? Okay. It's more content. How it's longer. Well, it's more content. It's <laughs> like if you only have 294 words and your mom comments twice, now you have more. Well, Google likes 300 words or more, yeah, right? Well, that's part of it. The the easiest way to explain this though is that <laughs> um, when the the big thesis theme was going down, and you know about thesis.com and stuff, and the WP drama, uh, when people were searching for WP drama, that actual blog was coming up because all the comments kept referring to WP drama stuff like that. So that's that keyword that's being pulled in, and that post is showing up. That's how it's going to help your search, stuff like that. Plus social proof, right? I don't even Google think Google likes hmm. social proof. But I don't think it cared about that. Like if you're searching for WP Drama, that was the biggest post that was coming up because it had the name WP Drama and great content on it, you know? WP Drama. I think you guys are starting to make up words now. No, they do like it to be signal. fresh. I, mean, I don't think my friend you, Mac, calls SCHS, it freshness but, signal. But it just <laughs> They like regular content, not slacker yeah, that, that's, content like me. Right. 
Yeah, I don't know. It seems like all the marketing SEO folks love to that, come up that's with a fair these, like, interesting words that describe something that could just be described in plain English. Oh man. <laughs> Which is totally, I, 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 I totally think so. <laughs> huh. All right. Let's hear uh, what yeah, else we got. Clint, we got some more com- comments SEO and questions. So, has a question uh, about, uh, are you using here. any page speed optimization methods rather than WP total cash at W3TC? Sure. Yeah. I use uh, premium, yeah. some premium web hosting that yeah, kind of so, does so all that I, stuff for me, so I don't have to deal with I'm using it. WP Engine. They clear their own cache to do stuff like that, but I also have my site behind Cloudflare, and I'm also using a Mac CDN to host all my images, stuff like that, so I'm, I'm definitely doing stuff like this. Yeah. I, I, I love WP Rocket. I, I think they're great, um, but I host with WP Engine, and you can't use caching plugins just because they conflict with how WP Engine caches. So I don't have a lot of experience with Rocket, but um, right. Lucy Beers showed me in WordCamp San Diego last year, and it was phenomenal. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, good stuff. Mm. Well, All right, Jonathan, what do you use? You just do everything just, just in straight-up normal HTML. You have them all just, Get you, just, well, just individual I'm, files, I'm not, and that's I'm it, not right? Liked by or, the or hosting you, companies because I use DigitalOcean for most of my stuff. You know, it's, uh, it's, okay. <laughs> so you're one of those roll your own type, then, huh? You, you Roy have a uh, you have a web develop you have a web developer. You have a tisk tisk Roy. Roy says he sends floppy drives to via the United States. <laughs> service to all of us. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best thing that I've ever heard all day. Oh, no, but, but you know, um <laughs> yeah, I, I just I just use I just use Digital Ocean a lot and uh, um and the caching plugin I do use one. I use Zencash Zencash Pro. Sure. That's yeah. the one I use. I'm on SiteGround they have their own caching plugin. It seems like yeah. a lot of hosts have their own my Bulgarian thing, right? friend. They are right. They are right. I used to use them for a while. I, I used to call them my Bulgarian friends. Yeah, they. Some of them are Bulgarian. No, they're based in Ang. They're based in Bulgaria. Yeah. Okay, so, there yeah. you go. That explains so, it. Yeah, that's why there was um, an amazing WordCamp there. <laughs> exactly. Oh, uh, uh, but um, yeah, Zencash. I've been using that Zencash Pro for quite a while. Um, I, I like that. Cool. Uh, yeah, and um, don't use really crappy hosting, folks. It, you know, um, if you're using really crappy hosting, whatever you do, you're not going to get great results. Yeah. yeah, and if you upload pictures that are bigger than your living room. Oh, uh, we're back to the picture thing like last week. I, That's I, a big deal, isn't it? Yeah, I got I got really criticised, Russell. I, I, I still use <laughs> fireworks. You know, when I said that to what was the young gentleman's reaction? I think Uncle Tucker. I think he was went white in the face, yeah, didn't he? I agree. Yeah, I don't know what fireworks is. <laughs> it fireworks. works for me. I love fireworks because you can do like hover images and stuff like that, and, <laughs> and then it and then it, it writes the uh, it writes the Java for you, so you could just <laughs> upload the Java the jar file and, and go from there. <laughs> So, um, Brad Griffin I never used in the that. chat. I never my images. So, Brad Griffin in the chat at Brad yeah. Griffin is offering his site consultation services. You know, he's he's a, Jonathan, clearly you, a site. You, you can get your site optimized. Speed there racer, you Brad. Um, um, <laughs> so, so I've been using uh, Google PageSpeed. It's just google.com slash PageSpeed, I think it is. And that will actually tell you. So, if you're going to get started in trying to make your site faster, that's where I would start because it will tell you, hey, these images are really big. You can scale them down. You have CSS files or JavaScript files that can be minimized, stuff like that. You're going to learn through Google really quick what needs to be uh, minimized or what needs to be you know, optimized, and that's a good start to go. Yeah, okay. also- that was a good URL. I'll because yeah. it gave me a 404 or something. Uh, there, there, there. Well, I'll put it in the show notes. Here it is. Also, I think you had Adam Silver on, and I think he said, you know, 
have some uh, rough have some rough idea what the size of the image you're going to use on the page and just make it do it right the first time you know yeah. and then you know you know you've got to be aware that it's going to be used on a mobile device so but but so here's the problem though is people like to take pictures with their phones and their mm. phones are set to take 5100 by 4800 pictures right. and then they don't know to go and resize them they don't know to go and optimize them that way so Guess they're going to they're going to they upload them that and now. once you know something, you're now responsible for it. No, no, no. And we've repeated it several times. So this is something I actually know. I, I don't care how many times you repeat it because you're always going to get new people into the WordPress space. <laughs> and so resize your photos, yo. That's like, a plugin you need. Uh, dear Bridget, the photo you uploaded is bigger than the biggest image that's ever going to be shown on this site. Would you like me to fix it for you? Oh sure, computer. Please do my work for so, me. So here's a plugin. It's called Kraken. Um, Kraken Image Optimizer. <laughs> Release the ah, Kraken. Release the Kraken. I love it, Russ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a crappy score on that, that page. That could be your thing. new title for this for this pod blab. Unleash the Dracon. All right, all right. right so, so, that was a great movie. So, so <laughs> this plugin is actually really cool. And then if you use it with like regenerate thumbnails, they okay. actually work very well together. And you can actually optimize images re relatively quickly. Oh, great. I'll just use it for the, I'll just nice. use it because of the name. I'm <laughs> going to favorite it. No. Isn't that one? Um, isn't isn't Kraken a like a paid service that you have to tie into, or is it that one? They still have free? free and paid stuff. Yeah, you know. Because okay. if I remember right, it used to be that before um, before you, before the latest version of WordPress came out, where it ha it's doing it's now doing all the image optimization uh -huh. and stuff right. for mobile. They used to do that for you, like they would they would optimize the images and stuff. If I remember correctly, I it, I I could be wrong, but. Chris Lima used to use them back before he started hosting elsewhere where they do all that stuff. Sure. Oh, well, really? Is so, that why Pagely's so awesome? I mean, Rainmaker? Rainmaker yeah. resizes your images for you? That's what I'm saying. Maybe the, the I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think they go a dumbass plan. No, I don't think they go that far, but I, I think Chris has had enough advice to say, here's what you should be doing, you know? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I used to use WP Smush It Pro, um, and then for the longest time, their Tim Thumb scripts kept giving me problems, so I got rid of them, you know? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Jason, Kevin likes tiny PNG, just like you said last week. Yeah. With the panda. I oh, saw the, the panda. You can't, beat, yeah, tiny you can't beat the panda. That's what I was, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I, lo I love that website that website's the best because as soon as i show that to somebody they go you know what i like that site and i'm like i know it has a freaking panda on it right i mean that's all you that's all you need the pandas the unique selling point <laughs> that's it drag the drag it right onto the panda <sighs> it's the e w w w yeah uh, all right I don't know. I mean, I, I take pictures on my phone because it's copyright. It, it, copyright. I I, I just started using Image Inject, and that was awesome. I just did that, like, whatever, Tuesday. I wrote a blog post about learning to be a better writer from songs. And I just got in this whole, oh, okay. like, 70s song mood. Uh, the, the lyrics are so good, you know. The storytelling... <laughs> And like Jim Croce, James Taylor, just amazing story. Just lyrics where you're just you're there. There's a oh, Ray really Lamontang song. Do you guys know Ray Lamontang? Yeah. Anyway, it's called Jolene. It's so it says, I found myself face down in a ditch, booze in my hair, blood on my lips. A picture of you holding a picture of me. This podcast just got dark. Movie. I just love it because you can see it. It's a dark, it's a dark side to Auntie Bridget. I noticed that. What? No, it's a great <laughs> lyric. I don't have to agree with him being a cocaine user to agree that that is a great lyric. And what you can learn from the visual, he didn't say very or anything like that. Anyway, so I didn't want to mess right. around, go looking for an image or go to Canva. I just wanted to publish it. So I used Image Inject and you can, it makes a little box, you know, what are those called? 
a box in your editor, like below where you write? I don't know what? where you're going with this. It's your story. <laughs> it's your story, dude. I don't know what the hell anyway, you're going. Like, okay, quite so, interesting. Okay, okay. Image Inject lets you search Creative Commons images on Flickr, and then you can oh, you can okay, image. It, it just makes a box, yeah. not in the kitchen sink thing. And then you write like this. And then oh, there's a team. box like with Yoast. And then there's a box with somebody else. And then every plugin you have has another box. Whatever those boxes yes, are called. Yes, I remember this one. You know what I'm talking about. Auntie yeah. Bridget, yeah. I've got a slight boring story for you there. there was I one. am so much more coherent at 9 a.m. That's all I have to say. Right. I've but got this little... is more entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> I got a little warning story. There was once a young developer that went to Flickr and he, um, he just took this image and it was supposed to be um, Creative Commons, for, right. you know, and he put it on a client's website and it was actually, there was a bit of confusion. It was actually owned by Getty. And they came for that developer for $700. $20,000 later. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not see, close. this is why you use Google reverse image search and you do the re you do the image searching on Google to figure out who else is using this image. And if it shows up on Getty, definitely like, touch, like, walk away fly. slowly. 90% yeah. of the time, I did I not use this. This is exactly why I take my own pictures. I write my own theme songs, I take yeah. my own pictures. They, like and the, here's the cool thing about taking your own pictures once you start thinking oh that would be a cool picture for a blog graphic then your brain starts going backwards yep. and you go oh i know exactly what i'm going to write about from this picture it gives you ideas on what to write yeah. about or what a good headline would be you know and that's, if you're just out walking around very wasting general life statement. like my, my mind doesn't work that way you I, can train your mind to work like that wax on wax off Wax down, wax off. Or see, you know. I I did the same thing when I was doing <laughs> That's when I was doing videos. The wrong <laughs> when I was doing videos, I wanted to have I wanted to have a cool video intro, and instead of trying to find video intros that people were doing, I was doing I started doing time lapses. So I take my camera out, go point it at the sun, watch it you know fade away, and you're like, boom, there's my time lapse. And so I started recording tons and tons of time lapses just to have some really good photos to work with. And I'm not an awesome photographer or nothing, but I wanted to have some fun stuff. So I just I just went and bought a camera and started learning how to take A really pictures. good friend of mine has this podcast and it, it the, the intro theme to it is all these people talking. And he went to every casino here in Vegas and recorded sounds and merged them into one. It was oh, kind of cool. cool. Yeah. It is cool. Oh, you know? There's a podcast I listen to called James Bonding. And they talk about the James Bond songs. It's kind of NSFW. They're rated R with their language and stuff. Mm. It's definitely not something you're going to want to listen to around your kids. Um, but anyway, they asked somebody. And so, or talk about these are, or yeah, for sure. No. <laughs> well, my grandkids are 21 and 25. So, that they can listen to it. Uh, but anyway, uh, they, they asked for user generated content. They said we it's just Matt Myra and Matt Gromley or Cromley or whatever his name is. And we just want you to make a song. And of course, somebody did it and it's amazing. And so you can also ask for user generated content. Get your audience involved. How happy are they when their song is on your it's the Jane Bonding podcast? It's the Jane Bonding no. the Bonding with my Matthew Joe, Myra Joe, or something. Joseph Gordon Levitt actually has this show. It's called Hit Record. And he comes up with a premise for an idea. And then everybody contributes to it. And then uh, everybody like edits it, stuff like that. It's it's huge, but uh, Samsung actually picked up one of their things and it's in a commercial now. Cool. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. I Kevin Hoffman just wrote a really great comment that I think he should uh, flesh out into a blog post. Photography is one of the best skill sets to pair with web development. Every site needs images. This is so true. That's why I started taking I totally my own pictures. I totally agree. Click to tweet, yo. I I I love I love taking my own pictures. Yeah, uh, I it especially when you're trying to find. Like if you have a good topic and you're like, yeah, I want to write about that, and so then you you're, you're spending more time 
looking for that photo that's now going to be the thing that represents everything you know about that blog post you know i was like oh yeah i really want to get a great looking photo it's just like crafting the the text like you were talking about like two hours ago bridget you know it's like if you're gonna write good text and really spend the time doing it <laughs> then do it so the comment kind of distracted me oh look a squirrel <laughs> it's the first time for it. i can't help it <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. I'm gonna laugh. Do we have any more questions before everybody needs to go to bed because they have to work tomorrow? <laughs> You're under the impression that I go to I go to bed and then go to work. That that doesn't happen. I, I'm gonna be working for the next couple hours now, <laughs> <laughs> taking pictures. Well, I think we should probably wrap it up. How's that sound? It does. It does, you know. Uh, <laughs> go, 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 go. All right. Well, we'll play. We'll play. Yeah, Bridget's play song the real theme quick. song real quick. Oh, you need a plug in, maybe a dev. We're solving all your WordPress blues on WP Black. That was not bad, actually. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll be here all week. Actually, I'm leaving. I'll see you next Thursday. No, tips. You can send tips by Bridget PayPal. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jason uh, Tucker challenged me, and I woke up with it. I get my best ideas when I wake up. I dream ideas. You know what? We got 43 seconds. Let's do the whole song. Okay. How about that? My friend, my friend, do you have trouble? Is your website just a white screen? Are your forms not working? Do you need some help? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you need a plug-in, maybe a death. We're solving all your WordPress blues on WP Black. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Thank you, Chicago. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, good job. Thank you. And that's totally not her song. <laughs> yeah, that was totally not me. Stop. Thanks, everybody. Oh, my goodness. I'd like to thank you. Yep, all right. Me. <laughs> I will say good night, folks. Perfect. It's been a pleasure, Auntie Bridget, and uh, as normal, and Uncle, Uncle Tucker. Tucker. It's been great. <laughs> Uncle Tucker. On Uncle Tucker's neighborhood. Um, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. He's, he, he, he's actually volunteered to come on the WP Tonic Show. In February. <laughs> I think I he has no I idea did. what he's let himself in for. <laughs> <Absolutely> <laughs> Whatever, Prepare as long yourself. as I get fired from my job, I'll unleash, right. the great, unleash the truth. Unleash the Kraken. Krakens. I love that. The Krakens. Oh. Unleash the Krakens. We have too much fun. Oh. Oh, it's just a great yep. title for a plug-in, is it? They might charge you, but it's still worth using just for yep. that, really. Unleash the Krakens. Is that it, really? <laughs> <laughs> So what should it? What should the since uh, since we're sitting here? What should the title of this thing be? Because the last title that I put in here is what ends up being yeah. uh, the, the title. The well, I like the one you had in the middle where we were talking about plugins and and if they're included, the licenses are included in the maintenance. That's my right. number one topic. Was it my life? Your life? Yes. Was it like working for Devin Walker then? Oh, it's fun. I mean, it's it. I was, yeah, I was telling uh, the other Jason, <laughs> I said, I feel really happy and it scares me. Why? Because I'm not used to it. Oh, right. It's just so cool to collaborate. I've never worked with anyone that actually functioned like a team. Oh, right. Yeah, it's really neat. And they thank you when you show up and they thank you when you leave. It's really cool. <laughs> and they greet you. I'll you drink tea. I'll, I'll make tea for my staff. I know that's what oh, I'm saying. Like, let's cool. get crumpets and tea. Oh wow, that's nice. Well, I'm not moving to Reno, so no, no. Don't, 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 don't I, do. I, I use twinings <laughs> as well. I don't use any of that Lipton. Crap. Oh wow! They get proper twinings, British breakfast. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna do a quick outro real fast, and then I'll I'll take us off um off the uh, off the air here. Here yeah. we go. 
So make sure you go to our website at wpwatercooler.com slash WPBlab. Take a look at all the stuff that we have there. We're up to what? Episode number 14. So we have 14. a whole catalog of 13 plus this one. Episodes of stuff to go check out. If you um, also want to do a, kind of see some really ridiculousness that happens every Monday morning, you can go over to wpwatercooler.com and take a look at that. We record that every week at 11 o'clock a.m. Pacific. Bridget, thank you for hanging out. As always, Jonathan, it's always good to see you. We're out. <laughs>